<coughs> See, I hear a kid in the background. That's my, that's my youngest son. But like I was saying, <coughs> I'm back, baby. Facebook for 30 days, hit up the homies, they gonna post my shit for me. So Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever the fuck you finding me from. This is Mob Radio. You probably wanna know why. What's up with the different format? What am I doing? What's going on? Well, let me fill you in. So, figured that it's more fun to go on the internet and look at stuff. And a better way for me to aim See, I have like what they call a machine gun. Uh, 240 Bravo, shooting down range, 150 rounds, Blah! two minutes. But I want to be more precise, more sniper on point with my message. So, with this whole recent debacle with Megan Diaz, a stallion, and uh, Tory Lane. Now, niggas, what did I say? What did I fucking say was going to happen? And y'all yeah, yeah, and, and niggas be arguing with me. Y'all be fighting with me. Y'all be going off on me. But it's real. It's happening right now. I don't even really give a shit about the case, to be honest with you. You want to know what I'm doing on I'm breaking down some weed. But if you really want to be honest, I really don't give a shit about the whole debacle, the drama, the case. Tour lanes or Megan Thee Stallion, you know what I'm saying? No, I do like some Tour lanes music, but it's more importantly that we understand that look what happened to this nigga who had all the backing and materials and supplies and they still hung that nigga dry. It's going to become an age where it's going to be dangerous out here. It's already dangerous for most of me and I here because we got to step on one man. Landfills, minefields, all type of shit Just to get by On just regular shit But it's And I tell niggas all the time This is where we headed This is where the fuck we headed When you let nothing but bitches and weak ass niggas Run shit You get Motherfucking people that just care about The, the, the look of the shit They don't give a fuck about real justice Real information Real nothing. None of that. They don't give a fuck. And we just let that shit slide, slide, slide. And before you know what, they're going to do it to all of us. They already doing it to all of us. Hell, look at the fucking system. The way it's fucked. Don't get me wrong. Don't sit here and think that I hate America and all that shit. I love America. I love this country. I just hate the system that we running on. We one of the most corrupt ass nations out here. And it shows in our motherfucking... Bro, It shows. Hell, even in the town I'm living in, Lawland, it's like, nigga, we should be a lot further than we are in this damn town than we have been going. But, of course, they don't understand that, that it's corruption. Somebody's stealing money. Somebody is blocking progress. And that shit happens. Yeah, shit gonna look sweet for a while. All right? But then when shit really comes to terms, we're gonna be fucked. Yeah, do you see them bitches and weak-ass niggas out here clapping because Tory Lanez got fucked up and shit? Over this damn trial, guilty verdict. But look what it's doing. Look what you doing to the high tier man. So what you think is gonna happen to the average and the low tier ass niggas? And then when shit get crazy, when shit get sideways, when shit get real out here, who's gonna come to defend you, fucks? Who's gonna come fix y'all shit? Who's gonna come rebuild when everything's destroyed, nigga? Don't look at us because we're not doing shit for y'all. We're not doing. You you can't ask somebody. To do anything for you that you just kept giving them bad hands, bad hands, not listening, not listening. Keep fucking them over, keep fucking them over. Now what? And the only way for you to get shit out of men is now you have to make men weak. So in order, so now they, they they'll just be like, oh well, they just feel obligated. They just, oh well, we'll just do anything for motherfuckers. That shit crazy, my boy. That shit crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Let's go on here. On these group 
groups I'm in. I'm in too many damn groups. What does it say? I said no. <laughs> I said no. I understand something. When you see a bitch that say no to a man in there, like, she thinks she probably worth more than what she really is. You know what I'm saying? That's a red flag right there. Most of these bitches are as old as fuck, lonely as hell, ain't got no niggas running around saying that there ain't no good niggas out here. Most of the time, they was, her and her homegirl was all fucking on the same nigga, and that nigga picked one of the bitches, and it wasn't her. Now she growing up bitter, thinking she deserved that nigga to pick her mother, the other bitch, when really there's other niggas in her DM that's glad and willing to settle down with her ass, but she thinks she's too good for them niggas, bitch. Nigga, you gonna start putting these bitches in their place, my boy. You know, I don't know what that means. Alright, this, this is another thing, too. See, this whole uh, son-husband shit, see, a lot of times you see a lot of these niggas uh, growing up talking about something they want a bitch that's independent, doing her own, got money with her car and shit. When really... When really she just naming all cars and shit that she want that her mama wanted from a nigga that her mama couldn't hold down, cause her mama out here run like a little silly ass hoe, and now he ain't got no respect for bitches while he stuck to this hoe. So he finna grow up 40, 50, 60 years old, still stuck at his mama's house and shit, doing what the fuck she do, uh, doing what he told, she telling him to do and said I had doing his own thing, being a man and leading the bitch out here to the greatness. Leading himself to greatness first and then bringing the bitch into the fold, into his greatness. You know what I'm saying? But no, you got all these motherfucking single moms turning their sons into damn near her son husbands because the mom is lonely as fuck. And she got nothing else to do, no business, no husband, no nothing. So now she holding her son down. It's like crabs in a barrel, my boy. Crabs in a motherfucking barrel, my boy. It's since the beginning. It's, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me about this shit. I'm telling you. Look at these weak ass niggas. Getting mad as fuck the nigga step on their shoe. Now they want to shoot a nigga. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. You and, and then when niggas really out here shooting, they not even real men with it. Look at these videos. Niggas out here jumping up and down like a fucking kangaroo. Niggas, stay in your ground. You know what I'm saying? Put your feet on payment. Get down. Get on the ground. Stay covered. Stop jumping up and down like you in a motherfucking... Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You see a lot of these too, like a lot of motherfucking, what they call it, um, profiles of like dating sites where these bitches would be like, like this one right here, looking for a partner who is kind, cares deeply about social justice. Ugh. And when not, when I'm not building micro simulation models of sexually transmitted infections, I spend as much time as I can outdoors hanging out with friends and reading. Always up for hiking books or show recommendations. What the? Uh, I, oh, oh, so, let's see. She got, she's a social justice warrior. I don't know what she, that is. If anybody in the comments want to tell me, micro simulation models. Micro simulation of sexually transmitted infect. So, she studied STDs. And she's into hiking and books and shows. Like so like every other bitch, like probably out here fucking. She got a kid. She oh, a liberal. Oh. So it shows it ain't shows your uh Oof. <sighs> There's another one. Dig it. You bring a fucking woman like this, nigga. I'm gonna smack the shit out of her, okay? Okay? Okay. Why was you not? We don't do that. Like, you a whole mom. You supposed to be a, I guess, wife or girl, or whatever. And you don't cook? See, that's. Uh, what's, who, what's one of y'all bitches don't be cooking? 
You need to be a fucking shame of yourself, nigga. Bitch, you need to be alone. Coach Greg Adams. Your future wife, after you bought the house, she's had your kids gain 50 pounds and hasn't succeed, succeeded you in seven years. Next stop, family court. It's not lying. Bitch, you ain't sucking dick. You ain't cooking. You fat, lazy. Ugh. Man. That's just, that's just. Every married man should, should at least have a pet dog to have a little taste of loyalty. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. That was good, that was good. Watch your head. What are you doing? Don't, don't do that. Don't back. Don't. Anyways, uh, yeah, a lot of you niggas got bitches and shit, and a lot of bitches out here thinking that their vagina is special. All right, bro. Let's let's do a logical comparison. All right, say this piece of wood is gold, okay, and and let's say ten niggas. Uh, you got 10 niggas, right? Now, if one nigga out of all 10 niggas got one of these, it's special. No one else got one, just one. Rarity, alright? Uh, uh, most time equals speciality. That's why you see, like, there's only four left, so they're $400,000 cars a piece, because there's only four in the whole world. Now, Take all 10 niggas, and you give each one of them niggas one of these. Now, everybody has one. Now, if you ever seen the movie Incredibles, you will know that nigga uh, Sinestro, uh, uh, Sinestro, you know the nigga, the, 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 the bad dude, the bad guy in the first one. If everyone is super, no one is. Everybody has one, then it's not special no more, and it's common. So, you got bitches out here giving common pussy, and most of the time, it ain't even common. It's just used up vagina, and they give it to you as gifts for things that you spend your hard-earned money and time for, for something that they're born with. Niggas, stop letting them motherfuckers pimp you, my boy. Stop letting them bitches pimp you. Woo! See, we got here Jennifer, a YouTuber, and my own. She didn't finish the damn sentence. YouTuber at my own University of Glad Glago Glad. I, uh, I don't know. Serious monogamous. Hey, look, this monogamous thing, boy. Look, none of you niggas out here should be practicing monogamy for bitches that ain't a virgin when you met them. Let me say it motherfucking again. Please listen. Stop practicing monogamy for women that you did not meet as a motherfucking virgin. Oh, Jesus. Wow. <sighs> I couldn't even read the rest of that. It just... You got a lot of good stuff in here. They wanted me to keep putting up with her. So my ex posted this. I guess she's expecting me to keep putting up with her after knowing all her flaws. The right one will love you even after knowing all your flaws. The wrong one will blame you even if you give your best. Yeah, because 
why wouldn't I blame you? That was your decisions that you made in your life. Yes, my boy, yes, you can blame the shit out of her. That bitch got 50 bodies before she met you. That bitch ain't had a motherfucking decency to hold out for your motherfucking ass. And now that she met you, a nigga that's try, really trying to put her down, give her something real. How can you? How can you? How can you? And even if you do, boy, you better make some motherfucking changes. You better, you better change that pimping up. That's like you telling niggas. It's too far up nowadays for niggas to be acting like 1950s niggas and husbands, but they need to be 2022 pimps, nigga. And see, look at this. And see, I was watching this YouTuber, uh, I forgot what his name is. Uh, uh, dude had made me, made me piss myself. Because the boy say nothing irritates him more than a fat model. Now, here's the thing. A lot of times for bitches and niggas, too, when you want to stay in shape, when you want to just, you know what I'm saying, look your best, you put in work. You run a little bit, you do a little workout. You put time and effort into your look, how you sculpt your body. You know what I'm saying? You can watch Pump and I with Arnold Schwarzenegger. They, them boys used to be in there sculpting their bodies. You know what I'm saying? Working out. Then you got these motherfuckers. What do you do to get fat? You sit down, don't move, be lazy, and eat. You just eat, eat. And don't give me nothing other than the side excuse. Well, some people get big because their glands and their fujuaries and their foots get big. And, and the who's your mamas? And, and all, no, bitches, ain't your mamas. That's what's making them fat. Ain't your mama and that damn couch. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Being fucking lazy. It's okay, nigga. I, I, nigga, I'm still chunky. I'm still getting into my perfect physique, but I'm working to it. I'm not just not doing nothing. And that's what it is. It kills me. These bitches want recognition to be models and shit and wear uh, clothes and shit. For what? For doing nothing? We we get them other bitches admiration and shit because of some most of them. Don't get me wrong. Some, there's a very few minute. That are just naturally skinny. But for the most part, most people have to consistently work on themselves to keep a good shape. Alright? Otherwise, these gyms wouldn't be making millions and millions and millions off of these niggas subscribing. And, 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 and having, uh, what do you call it? Memberships. All year-round memberships and shit. Even though half of them stop fucking with it after February. But that's just how it is. And I agree with this name. Like, nothing furious more than a fat bitch that's trying to be a model. Because, bitch, you ain't do nothing but get off your ass, literally, and put some clothes on. You ain't work for it. You ain't trying to get there. You ain't had a journey to go through nothing. You just had a turkey to get through, bitch. Like, come on. What the? What did the? What did the? Huh? Oh well, yes, the daughter and the and the, and, the, and the okay, okay, the daughter and the and the and the mom can go through the streets. Poor dad, though, man. Like he just he just in the house with this toxic ass bitches. Like a daughter, though, seven years old. Daughter, seven years old, and that shit don't fall far from the tree. Man, boy, it don't. And she starting early. So now he finna be out the house. She finna be most likely living with her, cause she don't, she don't understand what the fuck she did. She don't like the bitch. Well, now you finna be stuck with the bitch, just you and her, <laughs> because you fucked up the whole nine up. So now probably the only person that gave you peace in the house is gone. You dumb, silly little girl. 
And you probably got that dumb idiocy from your fucking mother. Ooh, nigga. Well, ain't tell me some fuck my life. Yes, bitch, fuck you. Like, I hear stories like this. I'm glad the nigga got out. I'm so, I'm, I mean, I feel bad. He probably broke up about the shit. But I don't blame him. Nigga, you believe a little fucking kid over... I mean, don't get me wrong. There are circumstances. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, most... Uh, most grown people ain't gonna fucking lie on no fucking kid like that. Especially they actively doing shit in their life or if it's their dad. I don't know if he was like acting like a stepdad or something. And that's why she had no respect for him and lied on his ass to get back on a mother that she clearly don't like. And that's the thing, you know, I run a lot of this shit. A lot of times, your kids be growing up with just animosity towards their mother. I mean, they hate their mother. Now, don't get me wrong. I... Me and my mama ain't best of friends, but I got respect for them. You know what I'm saying? I nah, never put a business out. I never cuss her out. I, I never, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I've had a stern, I had a stern voice before. We, you know, but I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? And when I put my foot around on certain things, that's just it. But I never, ever in my life, but that was just me being stern, me being a man. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes a lot of you niggas, Need to stop listening to your mothers every five seconds. Sometimes you need to tell your mother no. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is your mission? Your life is not hers. At the end of the day, though, you respect your mother, but at the end of the day, you need to recognize that. Also, she needs to recognize you two are totally two different people with your own different goals, meanings, and 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 and, and outlooks, experiences. You know what I'm saying? So yes, you do. See to the wisdom of your mother, but you do not, as a man, take all your wisdom from your mama. She's not going to teach you how to be no man or how to do things in these streets or how to maneuver these streets like your father, your granddad, or your uncles, or your older brothers, or your older cousin, male cousins would. Whoa. What is hot? <laughs> An atrocious horse. Wow. Jeez. I don't know. It's on Instagram. Christmas and a happy new year content brought to you by these hoes